Hey guys, our friend has news. Fluttershy pregnant. How did this happen? We just saw her a couple of weeks ago and she wasn't pregnant. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe she said something about meeting someone special? No, I haven't met anyone special. I don't even understand how this could happen. Maybe it was an unexpected result from the pregnancy test. But she said she had no signs of pregnancy until the last time we met. Maybe it was something medical? Perhaps she should consult a doctor. Yes, I have already made an appointment with the doctor. I hope he can explain how this happened. Well, in any case, we will support you and be by your side throughout this time. What should we do now? We don't have a home. Where will the child live? Let's do this now. Build us a new house where the child will live. A few moments later... We decided to build a house for the child. Let's collect wood to begin construction. Yes, we need to collect enough wood to create the walls, floor, and roof of the house. Let's go into the forest and start cutting down trees. I suggest choosing trees that are suitable for building a children's house. Maybe we'll need oak or birch blocks. It's important not to forget about conservation. Let's choose the trees that need to be cut down and be careful not to damage the environment. We can work as a team. One of us can cut down a tree and the rest can collect the fallen wood blocks. This will speed up the process. Once we've collected enough wood, we can go back and start building the house. We can use wood blocks for walls and floors, and we can also create a roof using wood slats. Let's also think about the safety and comfort of the child inside the home. We can add windows and doors and decorate the inside of the house to create a pleasant environment for the child. It is also important to consider the size and shape of the house so that it is suitable for the child. We can create a small play area or add special elements that the child will enjoy. When we finish construction, we will have a wonderful home for children where they can play and have fun. Let's start. A few moments later. Well, guys, let's start building a wooden house for our child. We have the wood blocks we collected and the tools to work with. Really, let's start by laying the foundation. We can use wood blocks to create a strong base on a flat area. After we've created the foundation, let's start building the walls. We can use wood blocks to create walls around the foundation. Let's also add windows to let more light into the house. We can use glass blocks or create wooden windows. For the roof, we can use wooden slats. We can create a sloped roof to protect your home from rain and snow. It's also important to create a front door. We can use wooden doors to create a safe and welcoming entrance to your home. What about the inside of the house? Let's create a small play area or decorate the walls with paintings and drawings to make the house more interesting for our child. I think we'll also need some furniture. We can create wooden chairs, tables, or a bed so that the child can play and relax comfortably inside the house. When we finish construction, we will have a wonderful wooden house for our child. Let's work together and create a wonderful place for them to play and grow. A few moments later... Look, I think you should go to the doctor. You are pregnant, and it is important to monitor your health and the health of your baby. Yes, I agree. The doctor will be able to conduct an examination and give recommendations on proper nutrition, physical activity, and other aspects related to pregnancy. The doctor will also be able to perform the necessary medical tests and examinations to make sure that everything is fine with you and the baby. He will be able to give you the necessary advice and provide medical assistance if necessary. In addition, the doctor will be able to answer all your questions and remove any doubts you may have. You should not neglect your health and the health of your child, so it is better to consult a specialist. And remember that doctors have the experience and knowledge to provide you with the best possible health during pregnancy. Feel free to discuss all your concerns and questions with them. So please go to the doctor's appointment so that you and the baby get all the medical attention and care you need. This is important for your well-being and health but I feel fine and nothing bothers me. Why should I go to the doctor? I understand that you may have this opinion, but the doctor has specialized education and experience to assess your condition and the health of the child. They can detect problems that may not be apparent to us. A few moments later. Hello, doctor. We came with our friend who is pregnant to find out what measures she should take for the health of her baby and herself. We would also like to know about recommended diet and physical activity during pregnancy. What foods and exercises are most beneficial? We also ask about possible complications that need to be looked out for. What symptoms or problems may occur? Thank you, doctor. We really appreciate your help and recommendations. We want our friend and her baby to stay healthy. We need to go to the mine to mine diamonds and buy everything necessary for the child so that he does not need anything. I am sure that we will have time to do everything before the baby is born. We have great news. 
We have discovered some diamonds and are thinking of using them to buy necessary things for our friend and her unborn child. Indeed, this is an amazing find. Diamonds can bring us significant funds to provide the baby with everything he needs. First, we need to find a professional appraiser to evaluate the value of the diamonds. We need to make sure we get a fair price for them. After the appraisal, we can start selling the diamonds and get the money. We can then make a list of things that are necessary for the newborn, such as a stroller, crib, clothes, diapers, and other items. We might also consider opening a bank account for the unborn child. This will help us save some funds for his future education or other needs. It's important to remember that we need to be smart in how we use these tools. We must purchase only necessary things and ensure the well-being of mother and child. Yeah, I agree. It is always better to focus on the quality and safety of the products and items we buy. We may consult a doctor or child development specialist for guidance on choosing the right products. This way, we can use the proceeds from the sale of diamonds wisely and provide the baby with everything necessary for his health and comfort. Let's start appraising diamonds and start buying things for our friend and her child. This is a real gift that will help them start a new life with joy and security. A few moments later. Hi, I would like to buy some toys for my child. I want to please him and give him a little surprise. I would like to see your best suggestions for construction toys and toy cars. I want to choose a few toys so he has variety and interesting options to play with. A few moments later. I have a great idea. We can make a playground for our child. This will be a great place for him to play and develop. Oh, I love this idea. Let's start planning. What elements and activities can we include in the site? I think we need to add a swing, a slide, a sandbox, and a little house. These are classic elements that children usually love and that contribute to their physical and social development. Sounds great. Maybe we'll also add a small sports corner with a basketball hoop or soccer goal. This will help stimulate activity and develop coordination skills. The sports corner idea is great. We can also add some interactive toys such as a pad with buttons and switches to stimulate mental development and imagination. I agree. Educational toys and elements will be a great addition. In addition, we need to ensure safety on site. We must use safe materials and ensure that all elements are installed firmly and properly secured. Absolutely agree. Safety must be our priority. We can also add padding on the ground to soften impacts and prevent injury. And yes, let's not forget about sun protection. We can install a canopy or shade area so that the child can play on the playground even in hot weather. Sounds like a plan. Let's make a list of the necessary materials and tools to start construction. We can do this together and create a wonderful place for our child. I agree. This will be a fun project and the result will delight us and our child. Let's get started and make the best playground ever. Hello, Fluttershy. While you were in the hospital, we prepared a playground for the child. Children are just a miracle. They have brought so much joy and meaning into my life. They teach me to be patient, to care, and to love unconditionally. Absolutely agree. Children taught me to appreciate small moments and enjoy simple things. Their pure sincerity and innocence always delights me. Children are our future. When I look at them, I see hope and potential. They have such an irresistible strength and zest for life that inspires me to be a better person. And also, children teach us to be more responsible and organized. We must be an example for them and take care of their well-being and development. This is a very important role that helps us become more mature and selfless. All these moments of parenthood are the real treasures in life. Although they may be difficult and present some challenges, they bring us so much joy and happiness. I am grateful for every day I spend with my children. Yes, children are a wonderful journey. We raise them and they in turn change us and our understanding of the world. I can't imagine my life without them. I agree. May our children always be surrounded by love and care. They are our most valuable treasure and we are willing to do anything to help them grow and become happy and successful people. Yes, children are wonderful. Our lives become brighter and more meaningful thanks to them. We should take every moment with them and enjoy this amazing journey of parenthood. <laughs>